Hi there, this is Sharon from LearnerCon, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up MQTT communication between Node-RED in IoT 2050 and a Mosquito Broker. MQTT is a very popular protocol in the world of IoT, so before we start, I'm going to give you a short overview of how it works. MQTT works based on a published subscribe model, which is quite different with the traditional model of client-server. In this model, every node in the network, which we call them MQTT clients, can send or receive data using an action which we refer to as publish or subscribe. The main difference comparing to the client-server model is that there is no direct communication between sender and receiver. All messages have to go through a central node, which we call it MQTT broker. So, as you see in this diagram, MQTT client number one, which is a temperature sensor, publishes a message with the topic home temperature and a value of temperature as 45. So this message will be delivered to MQTT broker. On the other side, we have two clients, client number two and three, which are subscribed to the broker with different topics. Client number two is subscribed to the topic of home humidity and client number three is subscribed to the topic of home temperature. The main responsibility of MQTT broker is to filter the messages based on the topic and then forward the messages to the subscribers of those topics. That means in this example, the received message from the MQTT client number one will be delivered to the MQTT client number three, which is subscribed to the same topic. Okay. So now you have an idea how MQTT communication works. Just keep in mind that for every message, we have three elements in the communication loop. A publisher, a broker, and a subscriber, which are linked together through a topic. Okay, now I dive into the application I defined at the beginning of this video. I would like to add that each node in this communication loop can publish or subscribe to a data or in the other word, send or receive information. As I mentioned, we have three elements in this communication. The first one here is MQTT Cool, which is a web-based test client, and we use it for publish and subscribe at the same time. Then we use a test server provided by Mosquito as our broker. And the third element is the node on the Siemens IoT 2050. Now I'm going to switch the screen to my test client. I've already left the address of this client in the description of the video. As I said, we're gonna use Mosquito Test Server as our broker. So from the list, I'm gonna select second item and then click connect. So here it shows green, which means that I'm connected to this server as our broker. And in this part, I can define a topic to subscribe and in the lower part, I can define a topic to publish. So I click in the topic box and define a topic as home, floor one, and room two. And subscribe. Okay, so it's kind of in a listening mode. As soon as the broker receive a message with this topic, it will display here. So now I'm going to open my node So to send a message to the broker, I need to use MQTT publish node. So I can type in MQTT to filter out. So for publish, I can use MQTT out. And to compose a message, I'm going to use inject. Connect. So open the property of the MQTT here, click on the server, and I need to connect to the same server so I can simply copy paste. You can leave everything at default. 
I'm going to leave the topic empty here because I will compose the whole message using the inject. Okay, so this part is good. So now I go to the inject and here first I put the same topic. So I'm going to copy paste. And as a message, I'll change this payload to string and say light is on. And deploy. Okay, so as you can see, my MQTT is connected to the broker. It's green here. Just keep in mind that for this example, you need to make sure that uh, Siemens IoT 2050 is connected to internet. Good, so I split my screen so I can see both the test client, which in this case would be the subscriber, and my node red, which would be the publisher at the same time. So as soon as I trigger the message and publish, I'm gonna receive a message on the subscriber side in the message box. Pretty straightforward and easy. You can see the message coming with the timestamp, the payload, and the topic. Okay, so now I'm gonna try a publish from the test client and receive the message in the node red side. So I create a different topic here. So let's say home kitchen and the messages smoke detector or and before I press publish I need to configure the required node in the node red side okay so let's maximize the screen so to receive a message I need the MQTT in open the configuration so I'm going to connect to the same broker and the topic would be on kitchen. And to see that, I'm going to connect it to the debug node. Deploy. Okay. So my subscriber is connected to the broker. So when I press publish, I get the message here in the debug mode. The message goes to the broker and broker forwards the message to the subscriber, which in this case is the node. Okay, that was it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you and bye-bye.